So now we're finally leaving LA at after four o'clock. Um, I've been on the road about 30 minutes now. I got out of there about 3.40. It's 4.10 now, so, you know, rush hour starts a little early around here. Thanks to paperwork not being done for about, what was it, about two hours. Uh, I had to wait around for the paperwork doing nothing. Just enough time for the rush to come around, you know? It's just how it works. That's trucking. That's trucking, Dave. Yeah. That's trucking, isn't it, guys? God bless. Now I'm sitting here hoping I can make it to Arizona today. That's my plan. I got six and a half hours, but I think I can make it there. I think six and a half hours is enough to get up out of this mess. The further we get from LA, the better our chances are. <laughs> As soon as I could get to some free-flowing traffic. So yeah, Dave's first-hand experience with LA. Actually, I've been through LA a couple of times, but I always went through in the middle of the night, right? I always kind of had extra time on my loads. I kind of timed it to go through this mess in the middle of the night. And, you know, it was always all, all good, fun and games. Now, it ain't no fun and games. Because I got held up at a customer for too damn long, so... Yeah, now we're sitting here in this mess, having too much fun, man. It's flowing a little bit better now. It was uh, pretty much stopped for a while. <laughs> oh, and I'm not getting in the right lane because I have to keep left in two and a half miles. And this stuff's gonna bog down again and I'm not gonna be able to switch lanes. It was a pain in the ass earlier to get left to stay on uh, this highway toward Riverside because there was just so many cars. Like, well, this is this is nice right here. This is crazy. This is crazy nice. But like earlier, I was trying to keep left, man, and it was like, I, pff, people just flying past me, dude. I can't even get over, so I ain't moving. Sorry. There ain't no trucks behind me. These cars can go around on the other sides. Super truckers can tell me what you want to tell me. Should be in the right lane until you're ready to go take your you get left and you make yourself get over. Come on, a real truck driver would find a way over. He'd force his way over in all that traffic. Yeah. Bet you would, buddy. Most of you guys are pretty nice and supportive of old Dave. And I appreciate it, man. But you know, you got these guys out here who think just because you, you know... You're a rookie or you didn't do exactly what he would have done. It's like, oh, you're a steering wheel holder. You're a dumbass. You you don't know how to drive a truck. Or if I struggle on a tight back, wow. My 13-year-old niece could drive that truck, back that truck better than you. Yeah, well. I, was, I wasn't born out the womb like you were back in. You probably shot right out your mama's, you know, and hit both the doctor's palms like they were the doc pads, didn't you? That's exactly what you did, wasn't it? Ain't that what you did? You shot right out the wound, boop, boop, both butt cheeks. Dead center. Yeah, well, I wasn't that fortunate. I came out head first. <laughs> That's why I look for all the pull-throughs, man. It's natural. That's how I came out the womb. Super truckers, shoot. But they keep watching, though. They keep watching. That's the thing. They keep watching. Or Larry's. Good old Larry, man. I ain't seen him comment again. I think he was a one and done on old Dave's channel. I think he deleted his comment, too, because I went and looked for it. So maybe he was still watching and he saw the video that I talked about and everybody was giving Larry hell. And maybe he was like, I'm going to go delete my comment. Dave's making me famous. <laughs> Good old Larry, man. How you been, Larry? How you been? Come on, Larry. How am I doing in this traffic, Larry? I ain't in the right lane, am I, Larry? <laughs> yeah, I gotta get over anyways. Oh, you stupid car. Oh, dude, it was a whole freaking... That was a whole freaking airport to, 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 to get over on, and this car just decided he just wanted to get over from that right lane to this one. There, I got over a lane, Larry. How's that make you feel? Are you happy? go continue on toward Riverside there's gonna be some slowdowns in Riverside also I saw there's highway patrol right there be in the second lane. slow down and let his ass go <laughs> that's for sure I don't want him behind me 
There we go. Best place for a cop to be in front of you. All right, Google Maps and GPS. Keep left in four miles is what it's saying now. To continue on east towards Riverside. Keep left to Hill it's only three miles. That's what my GPS is saying. So I need to probably hop over one more before this crap ends. If anybody even lets me. Who knows? These guys are all gonna want to merge. Are you gonna do something? Will you shit or get off the pot? Jesus. That's what my mom used to always say. Shit or get off the pot. <laughs> Come on, car. Jeez. Can we go? I need to get over one more. I wanna get behind this other truck. Keep up pace with him. There we go. There we go. They got off the pot. I like saying them old school things every now and then. I also hear that California is one of the states that you don't want to be parking on. Oh yeah, I'm in the perfect lane right now. It says to be in this one or the one next to me on the left. That California is one of the only states or one, God bless. How many times am I gonna say this? California is one of the states where they uh, will get your ass for parking on like on and off ramps and stuff. Like if there's nowhere else to park, you know, and you gotta park on an on or off ramp. Cause when I first started driving, one of my friends told me, he said, uh, be careful in like Georgia and Tennessee. He said, I wouldn't park. 25 minutes slow down in five miles. 25 minutes slow down. Okay. Yeah, that's fine. Oh, I know their choice. I gotta stay on here anyways. 25 minutes. It is what it is. He said, uh, Georgia and Tennessee. And uh, sure enough, like last time I went through uh, Georgia and I, I kind of look and see and you don't see pretty much, you may see a few places in Tennessee in the real rur rural areas, keep but like, to California 91 East, then keep right. you didn't see a whole lot of guys parking on them on and off ramps in Georgia. I didn't. And then of course, California I've heard is another one where you don't want to be doing that, man. Wait a minute. I don't want to go here. I don't want to go here. Uh, it says Riverside here. But it was saying 55. Oh, that's to take that exit. Gotcha. I gotcha. I'm dumb. I know better. Right lanes. Be any of the three right lanes. There's only three lanes. Continue on California 91. All right, dude. I want to go faster than this. I seriously... We're going uphill, though. That's why. God dang it, car. You freaking asshole. God dang, man. I'm pretty light, actually. I'm only carrying like 5,000 pounds, so I'm actually pretty light. There we go now and get my happy self back over. Don't y'all do it. Don't y'all do it. There we go. Whew. Left to stay on California 91 East. Now I am keeping left. I'm keeping this lane. Continue on California 91 East for 31 miles. Okay, 31 miles now on here, so that's good. We do have a 25 minute slowdown coming up though. I'm assuming that's going to be in Riverside, I guess. Oh yeah, it's coming. It's coming. What is my GPS doing? Why doesn't I have any information on it? It like froze up, man. My GPS is like... <laughs> <laughs> He's having a stroke, man. They don't know what's going on. Oh, here comes the slowdown. I see all the brake lights up there. Ah, 25 minutes. That's a long one. So, okay, so we got 24 minutes now, it says. After that, there's a 14. After that, there's a small couple minute, and then a 7 minute. And then we should be getting out. <laughs> oh, boy. It's gonna be fun, boys. I'm so much more comfortable in cities than I used to be, though. Man, because me coming from like, like I say, I'm from a small town, you know, I'm from a city. You know, the coast of Mississippi is pretty uh, urban area, but it's not big city, you know what I mean? It's not the big city freeways and interstate traffic that you have here. 
And like when I first started with CFI, well, I mean, I've been through big cities before. I've traveled around, you know. I lived in St. Louis for a little bit. Um, you know, I traveled to Ohio many times, been over to Florida, down to Orlando, uh, you know, through Birmingham, Louisville, 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 um, you know, Nashville. I've been through all this stuff. So I've been through cities before, but I always got nervous, even in a car, not even in a truck, but just in a car. I was nervous. I was always, you know, 10 and 2 and, you know, it's just so much going on and people are going so fast and they're driving so crazy and everything else. I got a little nervous, you know, not from that type of stuff every day. I think the most city driving I would drive in was like New Orleans because we I live about an hour and a half from New Orleans and uh, so every now and then I go through there but I was always nervous. I would say I was like nervous. I was like shaking nervous but you know what I mean. Just a bit tense. Now that I've been a truck driver for almost eight months now and I do this crap every single day, day in, day out, yeah, I'm still sitting up a little bit more and I'm still, you know, more aware and a bit, bit more tense but I'm comfortable in it now. It's like it doesn't phase me like it used to. Because you know, when I was with my trainer and we go through the big cities, I'm just like, oh God, I'm in a big truck and going through a big city and these people are all flying past me. And you know, it's like, it's just a little uh, nerve wracking, I guess. But now it's like, I've been doing it for a while. You do get used to it. Okay, that way station is closed because I was about to say, man. You, you get used to it, man. You just get used to it. You still can't let your guard down, obviously. I'm not saying I, I'm letting my guard down and being comfortable. I know better. Because um, that's when something's going to happen. The same thing applies to motorcycles. You know, I always try to let myself not get too comfortable on my bike. And I remember when I took the motorcycle classes for the first time when I was getting into riding a bike. Um, I remember our instructor said, every time you get on your bike, ride with a little bit of fear. Always just have a little bit of fear. And I always kind of remembered that, and I always did that. I always did. I was always looking for that person to pull out in front of me. I was always looking for that person to come over on me. I was always looking for just everything, you know what I mean? And, you know, it served me pretty well. You know, I never had a bad accident on my bike. Um, and I've ridden probably more miles than most riders. I say most, but you know, just you're an average rider because I owned a bike for like three years straight and that's all I rode every single day. I've been to Ohio and back and to Florida and back and all sorts of places on my bike and every day to work and back and you know. Put a lot of miles on motorcycles, man, I have. But yeah, it's just something you get used to, you know, but again, I don't let my guard down and get too comfortable where you know, I, I get too relaxed to where something happens and then I'm not ready for it. So the same thing with truck driving. I try to, uh, you know, keep that same mindset. So yeah, that's my lecture for the day. Hope you guys enjoyed it. <laughs> East Hill. This sucks. God bless. It's been a long, it's been a long day, guys. It has been a really long day. It's been a long last two days in California. I'm so ready to get out. I really am. Continue on California. All right, so I have my GPS routed to take me to uh, Yuma, the Love's uh, travel stop in Yuma. And Google Maps is saying it's about four hours and four minutes from here, so. Maybe the slowdown won't be too terribly bad. I don't know. Google Maps is telling me to take this California 241 South Toll, Irvine. But I don't think I should do that because I rem Okay, so for the most part, tolls are paid with CFI. You go through the tolls in Oklahoma and, and you know, wherever else there's toll, Texas and all that. We can go through the tolls, right? But I remember my trainer told me a story. He's like, yeah, one of my students went through uh, a toll. It was in like Irvine, California. And it was like an insanely expensive toll. Like, it was like $100 or something my trainer said. I don't know, you guys, yeah, I'm just quoting what my trainer told me. And like CFI made him pay it, I guess, because he wasn't supposed to go through the toll. Now this is obviously when he wasn't with the trainer. This was after he got his own truck. 
but my trainer told me that that happened. And this says California 241 South Toll Irvine. And it's telling me I can get there in four hours and four minutes if I go that way. But I'm not paying a $100 toll for that. That ain't happening. Hail to the gnaw. We gonna stay right, we ain't going by what Google tells me to do. You guys uh, correct me if I'm wrong or if my trainer told me something. I mean, I, he would have no reason to lie about it. I'm not saying he was lying, but you know, I'm pretty, if I rem also my memory too, cause that was a while back. But I remember him telling me something about an Irvine toll road his student took and it was like a hundred and something dollars and CFI was billed for it and CFI told him that he had to pay for that because he wasn't supposed to take that toll, I guess. I don't know, I ain't chancing it though. I ain't, I ain't chancing it. Even if it does shave off an hour from my destination. God, it would have been so much better had I got out of that place two hours earlier if they would have had my paperwork ready when I was ready. <laughs> Uh, it just didn't work out. My, nothing has worked out in my favor these last two days. They really haven't. It's, it's really been a uh, unfavorable last two days for Dave, man. It really has been. Nobody talks on the CB around here. I don't hear jack squat. I've been having my CB on this whole time. We've been driving through this. Nobody says a word. It's kind of weird. Seems like there's more day cab drivers. I notice a lot of day cab drivers don't have CBs, a lot of them. I know some do, but a lot of them don't. And there's a lot of day cab drivers around here. Man. Everybody just likes squeezing in front of the truck. They do, that's like what everybody looks for because they know us trucks are slow to catch up to traffic or given our room or our space. See, that's what pisses me off, is all these people use these damn lanes to, to pass. I mean, that is part of the road here, but but what they'll do, like somebody just got over to the right up there. See, they, they do that. They'll get over to the right on that merge, and then they'll just shoot all the way forward and then force their way back over. And then, you know, that's causing all the congestion and or adding to it, to the bottleneck. Because everybody goes up there and then, yeah nonsense too much fun man at least we got a nice view of the mountains while we're cruising here we got some mountains up there we got some mountains to the left at least at least i'm in a place where uh you know the scenery is nice god man Oh, and I want to tell you guys a story of what happened to me, too. Uh, this is just a story. It's not true. It's false. Uh, this is all hypothetical. Um, I just like, you know, I like making stuff up every now and then. Well, let's see. What kind of story can we think of? Let's see. Let's say it was in Texas. And let's say, yeah, there was like a toll road or something in Texas. And, uh, you know, old Dave was just kind of blindly uh, cruising down the road and saw the toll road and took the toll road and supposedly this toll road is not supposed to have trucks on it. <laughs> and old Dave's just cruising down this toll road and I think I realized it when I realized that nobody was on this road and then I really realized it when I'm flying past all this traffic on like like the traffic was like over there like where that road is right and I'm just flying past everybody trucks and everything and somebody calls on the CV somebody calls on the CV and says man that CFI over there is brave on that toll road it was an accident though it really was an accident like I did I didn't know that I wasn't supposed to be on there and it was like uh yeah called me out on the CB too. That CFI is brave over there on that toll road and that's when my heart really jumped up into my throat and I'm like, oh God, am I gonna get a ticket today? Like, am I done? Like, am I gonna get in trouble? What's gonna happen? And I ended up getting back on that damn road that <laughs> bypassed all this freaking Texas traffic and get back on the damn road like five miles up from where everybody else was back there. <laughs> oh man, I still remember that. Yep, but yeah, 
too bad it never happened. It's just a story that I like telling, you know, to just, you know, I like making up shit every now and then. All right, guys. Well, I know my GoPro's about to die. So I think I'm going to go ahead and end the old video here and uh, crank up some music and uh, enjoy the mountain views. <laughs> That's what all Dave's gonna do, man. I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace. Let's take a spin to a foreign place. These open highways are calling our name. And now it's time for us to escape. Escape to a world we don't know. Escape into the great unknown. Escape to a world we don't know. Escape. To the great unknown.